guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me using my December 2020 mystery kit. This is snow cabin themed. It's super pretty and it has a lot of foil overlays. This was the week that the big ice storm, snowstorm came through the south and it completely snowed us in our house for about a week. We had a lot of fun, we played in the snow, we sledded in our backyard because we have like a little hill and it was just a really good time. James definitely loved it. So that's why I picked a snowy theme. I am using Caress Press A5 Wide Inserts with my Aura Stell Blossom and Fairy Tale as the planner. So first I'm gonna put all of my foil overlays down over the stickers. I like to do this before I actually peel the stickers up off the sheet. I just find it easier to line up with the cut lines that way. I do tend to add a lot of foil into my mystery kits. So as you can see, there's a lot of different snowflake overlays for this collection. I do have open mystery kit spots right now if you'd like to sign up. We do bill one month in advance. I did read a fantastic book during this week and I think I forgot to actually put it in the spread, but it was called Echo North and it really fit the week in general because it's a very snowy book, but it takes place, I believe in Northern Russia and it's kind of a Beauty and the Beast story. It definitely has like bits that remind me a lot of that classic story, but it's also like a really fresh take on it. I won't go into too many details, but it's about a girl who makes a bargain to save her dad's life. And she ends up being taken to this castle and she has to live there for one year um, with like a giant wolf. And the wolf is like the beast character. The castle is the most magical castle I think I've ever read in a book. It has such unique like rooms and just different descriptions about it it's just it was really a beautiful story and I really loved it it also is a really long story it doesn't end when the year ends it actually has like an entire second part of the story it's just really good and I really enjoyed it especially for this week because like I said it was very snowy and then it was snowy outside in real life so it just felt like a really cozy book for this week in particular. Anyway this week actually worked out pretty well because I was planning on doing a lot of house organization during this week and being snowed in just made it that much easier to like just hunker down and get a lot done. So this was the first week that we were actually like switching up the rooms we had kind of prepped for it the week before but we were switching up three bedrooms in our house and I decided to start with the closets because all three bedrooms had walk-in closets that were full of different things one was my office storage one was James's closet and one was our linen closet and they were all moving along with the bedrooms. So I thought I would just go through those first, go ahead and declutter them and then move them into the closet that they were going to live in. And I knew it was gonna be a big project, but it actually still is not completely finished. So I started by decluttering the linen closet. And okay, that has been such a disaster because we did a really good job decluttering it. If you watch the video on my main channel, I show you a before of all of the stuff that was in that linen closet. It was shocking how much was in there, but we did a really good job of decluttering that. But the problem was we ended up finding more linens all over the place. When we started like really getting down to the organization, we had a ton in our laundry room. We had a ton in our like mud room hallway. We have some cabinets that had like extra things and come to find out, Alex was like organizing linens all over the house. Like they weren't in one place. I thought that they were all in that closet. Anyway, so we're gonna have to do a round two of linen declutter and I don't wanna do it until we have every linen in the house in one area, like Marie Kondo style, because otherwise it's just, we just keep finding linens everywhere. So. That has been like its own thing. But anyway, I started with that closet, emptied it out, moved the office stuff out of what is going to be James's closet into the new, my new office closet, which was the linen closet. Anyway, I have all this in a video on my main channel if you're interested in actually seeing the details. 
but that is what was happening this week and then we had some furniture deliveries coming in and oh my gosh james's bedroom is turning out so cute i cannot wait to put up part two of the bedroom shuffle i think it might go up either really late this week or early next week possibly over the weekend i have to film like a couple more clips for the end of it but um yeah a lot has happened since that first bedroom video that I put up so I'm really excited to show you guys all the progress. I have to admit I really didn't expect myself to become obsessed with the full box glitter underlays. I was doing really well with my half cut headers. I did that for about a year and I felt like that was great. It worked for me and as soon as I started using the full boxes I feel like I can't go back. It's just so much easier. I feel like it makes the back of it smoother. It just I'm just in love with it right now. So I'm going through a phase where you're gonna see me using them in every spread. I might eventually go back to half cut headers, but for now, this is just working so well. It just makes it easier and I just love the way it looks. So I am doing the full box underlays. I do have the third boxes where I have the double box on Saturday and Sunday. And I do have some of the glitter day extenders in the spread as well. You will also see me using foil glitter headers over my regular glitter headers. This is another thing that I've recently started doing. It's something that I held off on doing a long time because I just felt like it was an extra step that didn't make that much of a difference. But you guys, if you try it, it does make a difference. Like it might not make as big of a difference on camera and maybe that's why I never felt like it made that big of a difference. But once I started doing it, oh my gosh, the twinkle that it gives in real life, it's just everything. So this is another thing that you'll probably see in every spread now because it's just one of those things, guys. It just makes a big difference in my head. Lots of you have requested for me to bring my date dots back. And I did mention this, I think in the last plan with me, but they are going to be coming this week to new releases. And so those will be coming. So getting into my weekly plans, like I said earlier, the big plan for this week was going to be to start on the closet shuffle project. And I was not expecting a huge snowstorm slash ice storm to come in. We were snowed in for the whole week and it was mostly just ice on Monday. I think Monday we could have gotten out if we had wanted to, but then it ended up getting really bad throughout the week and the snow was so deep. It was so much fun though for James. So on Monday, I just put that we have an ice storm and then I put that I started emptying closet number one. I started the linen declutter and then I watched The Bachelor that night. I haven't been keeping up with The Bachelor at all. I stopped watching it several seasons ago. It just started to get really repetitive and I don't have a ton of time to watch TV. So I kind of have to pick and choose what my favorite shows are. But I had a friend over for dinner on this evening and she was a big Bachelor fan. And so there was a new episode and I offered to watch it with her and she was kind of filling me in on everything and like who was who. So it was fun, even though I'm not keeping up with the season, it was still fun to um, watch that. And she ended up getting snowed in and staying with us for the whole week because like I said, you could, we couldn't go anywhere. So on Tuesday, I put that we were snowed in again and that I began closet number two. And then I did a big sticker declutter. That was because I was moving the closet that had all of my office storage in it from the room that was gonna be James's new room into my new office room. And as I went, I decided to declutter some sticker piles that I have literally not looked at since I started my sticker journey. So like we're talking back like 2014 maybe some of those stickers and I did end up getting rid of a really big pile I just ended up giving them to James to like use during craft time and like just to mess with because he loves stickers too and then I did a nice long walk on my treadmill that was nice I was actually in such a good routine of like using my treadmill regularly during this time and I end up not getting to do it for very long because more things happen in the next couple weeks. It's just been crazy. So then at the bottom, I put that there was so much snow. We made hot cocoa and I took my very first bath since my last surgery. So the DNC that I had where I lost baby girl in like a couple weeks before this, this was the day that I was allowed to have my first bath. That was really, really hard for me to wait that long to take baths because I'm such a bath person, especially with it being so cold outside and snowing. So that was really nice. I took a really long bath that night. 
And then I just put that I was annoyed. I can't remember about what, but I'm sure it had something to do with Alex and that I had a backache that evening. I'm using a closet sticker from Crest Press. This is a really old sticker. I don't think she sells these anymore. And then for Annoyed, I'm using a Once More With Love character. And for Backache, I'm using a Kisma backache sticker from my shop. Wednesday, we were snowed in. I filmed a bunch of videos that day. I think I filmed planner videos, but I might've actually filmed a video for my channel as well. And then I prepped orders and labels for the week and did customer service. So I pretty much just worked that whole day. And that was nice because the next day ended up being a day where we just spent the entire day as a family. I did not work at all on this day. I was planning on it, but luckily I had gotten enough done the day before that I could really just spend so much time with James. So I started off the day by putting that it was a snow day again. We did make hot cocoa again. Alex started a wood fire in the fireplace outside, which was really cool. It's a fireplace that can take wood or gas. And so we ended up putting some real logs in there and it smelled so good when it was burning. And then we went sledding with James in our backyard. I put that Alex made boiled peanuts. So Alex got sent to the store for like basics earlier in the week. I think it was on Monday. It was like the last day we were actually able to leave the house. And I guess the grocery store had been completely out of like everything that was important because he came back with a couple cans of canned boiled peanuts and some jelly. Anyway, he made boiled peanuts on this day, claiming that they were really good and they were awful. The doorbell just rang, but I don't know who it is, so I'm not gonna answer. That afternoon, I emptied closet number two and then I took another long bath. And then that night, one of my neighbors had a girls' night. And so I went, I walked there. Um, they don't live very far away, just a couple houses down. And I put girls night and then I put birds cause she has free range birds in her house. And it was so funny to just see these like giant exotic parrots just like flying loose around her house. And then I put something about walking home from the snow after midnight. Um, Alex actually came and like met me halfway because I was afraid I was gonna like fall and break my back again because it was so icy and this house was up on like a really steep hill and I just thought I'm, I'm gonna die if he doesn't come walk with me. And then on Friday, I put that I woke up late because we, I had been out really late the night before a girl's night and then I edited videos. I organized my office closet. I decluttered even more stickers, so a few more piles of stickers had another headache. I actually think that my reoccurring headaches during this week had to do with my um, side effects that I took with my miscarriage because I'm not very headache prone, but I had so many headaches for the weeks after that procedure and they've gone away now. So I do think it was related to um, that actual medication. So I did have another headache and then I put that I binged Vampire Diaries. I am re-watching everything from season one because it is just my one of my favorite shows. And on Saturday, I watched more Vampire Diaries. I finished my office closet. I cleaned the office because it had gotten really messy. I pretty much just read for hours that evening. I pretty sure I had a headache again that day and I just felt like taking it easy. It was a Saturday, we were still snowed in. And yeah, I just chilled most of the day. And then on Sunday, I played a lot of Sudoku that day. I remember I put that in because it was like, I played hours of Sudoku. And then I put that my house was a mess. It was one of those days where I just woke up and I was like, okay, my entire house is a disaster. Like every part of this house is a disaster except my office because I had cleaned it the day before. And then I started on James's room on that day. And then we ordered O'Charlie's for dinner, which is one of my favorite places. Their chicken tenders and honey mustard is the best. I'm putting some snowflake foil up top. And then I am putting a Once More With Love dumpster fire next to House Is A Mess. A Once More With Love seal of disapproval by Boiled Peanuts. It's one of my favorite stickers that she makes. It's so funny. And a Once More With Love like celebration sticker next to girls night and then a coffee monsters co netflix sticker for vampire diaries and that is everything you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me video i hope you are enjoying the more consistent videos that i have been doing i'm gonna put the spread back in this is my favorite part just seeing how the whole thing looks i love it the spread is gorgeous it was perfect for this week so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time goodbye